What's up, you guys, and welcome back to another Off-Road Outlaws video. Now, today, we're actually going to be building Wilson Diesel's Dodge that he used to have. That was that black dually truck. So, let's go ahead and head over here. You know, I, I was thinking just then, you know, I was having a hard time deciding between using the second gen, which his was a third gen, but I, I had a really hard time deciding. You know, I was like, you know, the, the second gen here has extended cab, but yet the front doesn't look right. And, of course, this is the second gen. His was a third gen. And I was just kind of throwing that back and forth. But, you know, we're just going to use the third gen. And if everybody would like to see me do like a second gen version of that truck of his, we can come back and do that. But now we're just going to do the third gen. Now, the only thing is the third gen is a regular cab. So if we go over here and click this, as you can see here, this Dodge is a single cab. And his, of course, was not a single cab. But I think we're just going to use this one anyway and do the best that we can. Like I always say, we're going to try to get this truck as close to his as possible. So let's go ahead and purchase this right here for 20000 Let me know in the comments, you guys, if you've built this truck yet. I'm sure a lot of you have. I haven't done a Whistling Diesel build in some time. So I'm sure a lot of you out there have already built this truck. But here we are. We're going to build this today. I have not built this truck yet. So this is going to be pretty fun. Now, let's head over here to the Customize. And we're going to throw some some body modifications on it i guess um what do you think you know his has like that stock bumper and we don't really have a stock bumper in here but we're just going to use this one i think it'll work pretty good what do you guys think i think it'll work pretty good now if we go to our fenders we're going to throw the dually bed on it right there because you know his is a dually and you know we got to be realistic okay well, we're going to try to get as close to his as possible no we don't need any of that none of that um, tow mirrors, uh, I wish, I wish we could add tow mirrors Lights up top, you know, we are gonna have to do some lights up top But, let's see, we should be good Yeah, we should be good right here, okay I'm just gonna kinda throw some random, like, white lights on there That, that looks pretty good, I think we're doing good there Now, the toolbox, you know guys, we need a repair back, we do And the toolbox, you can't go wrong with the toolbox Now, I don't know if his had one, I don't think it did But we're just gonna throw a toolbox in the back of the old third gen here And, you know, do our whistling diesel bill Because, you know, I do want to have a repair back and that, that's kind of like a sleek way to put a repair pack in these trucks now. Alright, so there we go. We got our dually wheels on the back and we got all that set up so we're looking pretty good there now let's see i'm kind of looking at his truck i have it set up in front of me here the way i can kind of you know base my truck off of his truck so we got the body style and all that going for us you know if only we could change the front grills because his is a little different the headlights are different of course he has that like stock like kind of style bumper there so it's different than ours um there, there's several things that are different okay but we're gonna get as close as we can to that truck you know as possible so i guess with that being said let's go ahead and throw on the black paint there let's see the windows his windows actually weren't that dark so we're just gonna kind of put our window tent about right there by that w something like that looks pretty good i think so all right so we got the black paint on there and that looks pretty good we got i just went with the gloss paint looks really good and it matches his truck. His truck is like that really glossy black look. So that's matching right there. Now, as far as the rims go, let, let's just kind of pick through here and see which rims we can find. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to find the exact rims he had. I mean, maybe those, not really. They, they don't really like the rims he had. These, if anything, probably look more like the rims he had in a way. So I, I, I'm thinking after looking at the picture, I think we're just going to go with these. I mean, might as well do this. It, it looks the best, I feel like. Now we're set up pretty good there. And let's see, what else do we need? Okay, so different tires, of course, on the truck. So we need some different tires on the truck here. Let's see, let's see. Um, The rims need to be bigger. Of course, you know, we'll take care of that. Now the tires. So the tires that he has on his truck look kind of like, what do, you, what do you guys think? Maybe those? You know what, you guys, after thinking about it and looking back at the picture, we're just going to use these tires right here. We're just going to use these tires. They're sort of kind of like the tires he has. Um, I guess those will fit this build the best. I don't know. You guys can kind of use your best judgment on that. All right, you guys, so now we need to put the lights up top here. So let's kind of go to decals, and we're going to use the shapes right here and use, let's see, I think these, no, no, not those. We're going to use these. Okay, now these lights on his truck are blacked out. They're, they're like a solid black color. So I don't know how that's going to work out because the truck itself is black also. All right, you guys, now we got the lights up top there. I just kind of took the time to go through here and kind of put like a white base down and put like the black light over top of that. Just kind of make it stand out a little bit, you know, just so we could see it. And look at there, you guys. It looks amazing. It, it turned out really good. So now we got the lights up top there. What else do we need, you guys? If only we could add like the Dodge, like the Cummins tow mirrors 
Oh, man, that, that would be so nice. That would be so nice. Maybe in the future, they might would add that into the game. Who knows? But Toad Mirrors would be so, so cool. Anyway, I think we're good here. Everything looks pretty good. Um, Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. So let's get out of here and head to some suspension tuning. And we're going to adjust the truck just a little bit, kind of make it sit how it needs to. So first of all, we're going to go to the axis width right here. We're just going to kind of start out with that. And we're going to move that about, let's see, I'd say about right there, honestly. Now we're going to jump over to the front right here and see if we can adjust this axis width right here. Let's see. I'm thinking about, what do you think, guys? Maybe about right there. We got Whistling Diesel's Dodge coming along in Offered Outlaws. And man, this thing looks so, so good. All right, now as far as the suspension, damping, we're going to move this up to about 2100. What do you guys think? 2100, Um, let's see, about 2100 right there. Leaf Spring, we'll, we'll move those up. And Shocks, we'll, we'll kind of just go with... um. Let's see here. Okay. We'll just go with the number two shocks, shock size. We'll move this up to about 2.0. Looking good. Looking good. Spring brackets. I'm going to bring those up. Stiffness. Now, the stiffness in the rear does need to be up a good bit because this is a tow truck, right? This is a towing truck. So, here we go. Let's kind of put this up to about right there. Let's see. Now, I think his was about right there. It's kind of where it's set, you guys. What do you think? I think that's about where it's set. Now, we may have to go back and adjust that just a little bit because we do actually need to make some changes to the wheel radius and all that. So, we will do that very soon. Now, the travel in the front. Let's go ahead and move this up. Now, I think his did sit down just a little bit like that. Okay, okay. Hey, we're look, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good there. Damping. Let's see. We got that. Leaf spring in the front. Let's go ahead and buy that and move that up. Um, spring brackets. We'll just put those up like that. Stiffness. Yeah, the stiffness can stay about where it's at, honestly. Stiffness is fine. Travel, yeah, we already adjusted that, and we're looking good, guys. All right, now the next thing we need to go mess with is the wheels and tires here. As you guys may already know, our rims need to be a lot bigger. So let's go ahead and adjust this. So what I did right there for the front rim size is just move that slider all the way over and just moved it back just a little bit to where you can see mine is right there. So rim size for the back here. Let's go ahead and buy this all the way up. Rim size all the way up and then just kind of move that slider just a little bit about right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, moving on to our wheel radius right here. I think the wheel radius needs to be maybe a little bit bigger. Not much, though. Maybe about right there where that U is. Like I said, not very much. Okay, that looks pretty good. Wheels width. Um, let's see. Those front wheels aren't very wide. I, actually, they're not very wide. So, we'll kind of put these about right there looking good. And the back. Now, the back, I think, are about the same width, to be honest. So, we could move this about right there. So, the stiffness in the rear, yeah, we put that all the way up. Now, the travel, like I said, need, does need to be raised just a little bit. So, let's kind of put this about right there. Okay, that looks pretty good, you guys. That looks pretty good. I, honestly, I think this build's looking so good. We got Whistling Diesel's Dodge in Off-Road Outlaws, and it looks amazing. Let me tell you guys, it looks amazing. I can't believe I haven't already made this thing. You know, like, I was, I was missing out. I was honestly missing out. All right, you guys, here we are. We are testing out the old truck and just kind of seeing how it pulls honestly the thing pulls pretty good yeah now it's, it's not gonna roll any coal just because we don't have a stack coming out of the back here but if we did this thing would probably roll all the coal all right you guys well we now have whistling diesels third gen cummins in offered outlaws man that thing turned out amazing that was such a fun build hope you guys out there watching this did enjoy this man the elite max it looks good also i hope you guys did catch that stream where we built that truck it turned out just as amazing but anyway you guys i'm gonna get out of here for today be sure to like comment and subscribe turn on those post notifications make sure they are set to all that we don't miss any of the videos i upload goodbye guys you have a great rest of your day happy new year's and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye guys